Hey, what's going on guys? It's Trevor back again here bringing another video. So this time I'm going to be doing a video talking about uh, the recent announcements. Uh, it has been reported, uh, not completely officially, but uh, it's very likely and it looks like it's probably going to go down like this. At UFC 139, November 19, 2011, we're going to see Dan Henderson face off against uh, Mauricio Shogun Hua. So this is a, just a freaking crazy matchup, man. This is going to be an awesome, awesome fight. Um, this card is shaping up to be one of the best of the entire year, um, totally unexpectedly. Look at who we got here. We got Hendo versus Shogun. We got Belfort versus Kung Lee. Uh, Martin Campen versus Rick Story. Uriah Favor versus uh, Brian Bowles, um, as well as a few others. Uh, Jason Burrells against Ryan Bader. Stefan Bonner against uh, Kyle Kingsbury. So this is just going to be, you know, an awesome night of fights, man. Uh, some really, really, you know, big fighters fighting on this uh, this card. You know, Vitor, Kung Lee, uh, Hendo, and Shogun. This is going to be an awesome, awesome one. Um, so we recently saw Dan Henderson uh, just, you know, demolishing what's left of Fedor at this point, uh, making it look uh, pretty easy, even though he's fighting a heavyweight, was fighting at heavyweight. Um, you know, just crazy. You know, I, I'm sure, like, no matter how many times Fedor lost, nobody really thought that he, you know, that, uh, that, or not many people, some of you may have, but, you know, most people thought that Fedor was, eas was easily going to take that. I mean, he really was fighting a 185 pound guy. You know, Dan Henderson doesn't actually have to cut down to fight at 205. He fights at like 204. Um, you know, that's his natural body weight. So to cut down to 185, I mean, a lot of guys who fight at 185, like Anderson Silva and Chael Sonnen and the rest, they um, walk around without training at like 215, 220. And then when they're in good shape, they're at just over 200. So these guys cut down from Dan Henderson's weight. Dan Henderson is actually a middleweight, if you really think about it. Um, he can fight at 205, though, because he's, uh, you know... He seems healthier at 205. He doesn't have to really cut down, so he doesn't have to worry about that. His strength has never, you know, been a question. He's really strong, uh, an awesome wrestler, an awesome uh, Greco-Roman uh, stylist. Um, you know, just a legendary, legendary fighter. Um, of course, he's got the H bomb. He's got awesome, awesome hands. Uh, he's got a lot of strength for his size. I mean, he doesn't look like he's that strong, but he is insanely strong for how big he is. I mean, he was even. With Fedor, uh, even though you know Fedor's skills at this point are questionable all the way around, um, just because he's in the twilight of his years for sure, uh, but he manhandled Fedor pretty well, and I mean that's still an accomplishment. You know, when you're weighing 205 and Fedor is like 230, I mean Fedor a couple years prior to that was throwing around guys who were weighing 250, 260 pounds. He's you know throwing them around, throwing Krokop into the ropes, you know, just slamming guys like just awesome, you know, but. Um, you know, Hendo was able to shut him down, you know. Uh, would that have happened if Fedor was in his prime? Probably not. He, you know, Hendo would have lost that fight if he was fighting Fedor in his prime, for sure, I think. We can all say that. Um, but he's definitely looked dominant in his last few performances. Uh, he beat Fei Zhao. Uh, you know, just, just really, really doing well in strike force, that's for sure. And uh, definitely a guy that, you know, I'm happy to see back in the UFC. And this will definitely be an exciting matchup against uh, Shogun. So that's Hendo, you know, we all know his skill set, big right hand, good hands, uh, strong, tough, you know, um, just a really, really nasty, tough grinder fighter, you know, and, uh, and he does finish fights, which is always exciting to see. Uh, so let's move on now to Shogun, of course, uh, you know, you guys know Shogun, I mean, the guy's just got power, you know, and everything he throws, he throws knees, he throws kicks, he throws, you know, right hooks, left hooks, uh, he doesn't throw anything weak, everything he throws is hard, heavy Muay Thai, just, you know, uh, exciting fighter, he's got good jiu-jitsu, um, got a really nice uh, butterfly guard that he uses a lot um, to kind of sweep under guys and things like that. Um, he's just a demolisher. I mean, when Shogun's on his game, he is really, really tough to beat. I mean, when we saw him against Forrest, he made Forrest look like a little girl. I mean, the way he was, uh, he threw punches at Forrest and he kind of used some of that uh, Muay Thai. It's kind, of a, it's, it's kind of an interesting technique. I don't know if you want to call it technique or just brute force and brute power and strength. But, um, you know, it kind of comes when, when you're standing with a guy who doesn't really have, uh, a, you know, very good striking, or at least you're not worried about his striking, uh, and he's not throwing back at you, and he's just, he's just blocking. Um, what he basically did to Forrest in his last fight was he just smashed through his guard, just smashed right through his, uh, you know, his hands. Like, you know, okay, you're going to block the punch, but I'm going to throw it with so hard, with so much force, that it, it doesn't matter if you block it, you know, 
you got to retaliate or else, you know, I'm going to throw a couple of these. I'm going to smash you through your guard and, you know, you're going to go down. That's all there is to it. Because Shogun just hits so damn hard. Unless you evade his punches, which is really what you have to do. You have to evade his shots or else, you know, you cannot block him. You cannot block Shogun. Uh, it, it just doesn't work. He just hits too damn hard. Even if you block it, you know, it's going to go right through. You know, it's going to rock you. It doesn't matter. So... Uh, when it comes down to this fight, these two these two fighters match up really well. The, the thing with Shogun is, though, is that he has weak wrestling. He does. His, his wrestling has been his weakest spot his whole career. I mean, he fought against uh, Mark Coleman when Mark Coleman's career was basically over. And he actually, you know, lost to him once. Uh, broken, uh, what was his arm? Uh, broken forearm. And then eventually he beat him. But he did not look good in the UFC when he beat a freaking old-ass Mark Coleman, you know. And, uh, you know, was gassing out himself. And basically... Uh, Coleman just gassed and went down essentially, but um, just because of his age and stuff. But uh, yeah, I mean, he's Shogun doesn't really perform that well against wrestlers a lot of times if he gets taken down. Um, so that, that that will make this a very interesting fight because you you got Hendo who's fighting and coming in a lot of confidence off his you know his strike force uh, you know light heavyweight champ and beating Fedor. I mean, could you can you get any more like? You're a middleweight, and you just beat the best heavyweight of all time. I mean, you can't get any more confidence than that. Uh, Shogun also coming off, you know, confident because he's back in shape. He's back on the ball. He just smashed for us. Um, so both these guys are coming, and this should be an awesome, awesome fight. The real question here is whether or not Henderson will really use his wrestling. He likes to stand with guys a lot of times, and in some cases he shouldn't. He should use his wrestling, and he should really take, uh, take Shogun down. Do I think he's going to be able to do that well? You know, Henderson, even though he's such an acclaimed wrestler and everything like that, when he when he's you know fighting in mixed martial arts fights, a lot of times he, he tends to stand with guys that maybe he shouldn't. And he's got the H-bomb, so he could knock Shogun out. It's possible. It's just, you know, it's not uh, it's not the easiest thing to do. I'm looking at uh, Shogun's uh, you know record right now, and he has only been knocked out one... No, he's never been knocked out. He's been... TKO beaten by John Jones. That's it, just because basically he got beaten down. But, you know, he's not the type of guy that you're going to knock out. I, I don't know if, if Henderson lands an H-bomb. I mean, I guess he could knock out anybody, but, I mean, Shogun's never been knocked out before. And Shogun's a beast. I have to go, you know, with Shogun in this fight. You know, standing, he has he has an advantage, I see, over Hendo. As good as Hendo is, unless Hendo can take him down or push him up against the cage and, and isolate him to the point where he can't do anything... I see Shogun is coming in healthy, coming in hungry, and, you know, coming in like that destroyer that we saw against uh, Machida the second time, against uh, Forrest, you know, against Alistair Overeem back in Pride, against all these guys in the past, and I see uh, I see Shogun smashing up Henderson in the first round. Uh, so that's my prediction for the fight. Let me know what you guys uh, think, how it'll go down, and what you think of the fight. Are you excited for uh, this event? I know I am. Let me know what you think, guys. I'll see you later. Peace.